Hello and welcome back to the channel. We are in beautiful Transylvania, just for a little bit of a change of pace from Aurora Shores, uh, to look at a question that has come up in the comment section, actually a couple of times, also on the Discord. And the question is focused on the Eurasian uh, Badger, uh, that mystical creature that no one can ever seem to find. Including me, I've spent lots of time on uh, in Transylvania, and I rarely ever see the little badgers. So the goal is to see just how difficult they are to find if uh, we target them. Uh, the other one is if we look at the uh, oh yeah, don't don't look at the map. It's embarrassing how little of the map I've uncovered in Transylvania. <laughs> I've hunted a lot, but I keep hunting the same areas. So uh, here I'll show you. We're in uh, the center of the map here. Isn't this sad? I've been playing since, like, release. Uh, we're at the border of the gutter in uh, Lindstedt Grounds. Uh, I've marked a few little spots here uh, for uh, badger locations because it's early afternoon. So I got rest zones marked with uh, some feed zones. And what we need to look at is uh, the collar. I got them around, uh, oh, the inventory here. So I actually brought both collars. Because uh, if you look at both of them, the American Badger is listed on the normal one, but not the Eurasian Badger. And if we look at the new one, uh, I don't think the Badger is listed on this at all. Uh, so the question is, do either one of these collars work for Badgers, specifically the Eurasian Badger? Now, I've never uh, brought... Um, both predator collars ever on the hunt before, but I brought both of them just in case one works better than the other, or uh, just to take a look at it anyways. Uh, yeah, so neither of them say Eurasian Badger, and I asked the Discord, and it did come up in the comment section before. I can't seem to get a definitive answer on it. Um, I'm trying to remember back um, if the devs gave an answer to it or not. It, my, uh, my old man brain says um, that it's it's supposed to call them. It was just like a typo or a miss. Sort of like they forgot to put that in there. Or I guess they're including both the badgers in the American badger thing. That is my uh, recollection of the developer said, but I'm not 100% sure. That's just what I think. I think it's just they forgot to put it in the list. Of, uh, of animals that it calls. Uh, but that being said, I've had uh, confirmation on a lot of hunters that the collars are not working, but I've also had some say they do work. So that's what we're looking at today. I never hunt the badgers or anything. The small game's not really super interesting to me, but it is good to, to hunt everything in the game, try everything out. I'm just bringing the crossbow just for, uh, just for the challenge. Only the crossbow, no rifles or anything, one weapon with us. And we're heading into, uh, up here is Badgerland, Foxland, Brown Bear is up here, and a Red Deer. So three out of the four animals in this area are the Predator Calls. So that brings another question, like, can you stack the different collars up? Because you know how the uh, Sitka Deer in, in, in Alaska will respond to the bag of sticks and the normal deer collar from, from the original collar? Um, I'm wondering, like, can you... If like one doesn't call, like if you're doing like low fit bag of sticks shake and no Sitka deer come into it, what happens if you try a low call on the deer grunt? Like does it like double down on the call? I, I'm a little wondering if you can stack callers. I don't know how I'm going to really test that or see how it works or not, but we got both predator calls so I'm kind of curious if uh, one doesn't work, if the other one will. Uh, it's just something that uh, I don't think really come up yet. My hypothesis is that the original caller will call the Eurasian Badger in just like it does the American one, uh, the American Badger, and the new caller will not. That's what I'm thinking. Now the trouble is I'm not too sure I'm going to come to any conclusion here, uh, because for one, these guys are really hard to find. I think I'd have to find at least three different groups to get like a good test on, because if you just find one group, it's possible they're just not responding to the call just because... The game says some animals just won't respond, uh, so you'd have to you have to try a few groups here. And I think I'll be lucky if I can even find one. What is most likely to happen is I'll get distracted by a big red deer or something like that, 
or a bear, and uh, we'll never actually see a badger. And this is a feed zone for one of the badger groups, um, but this definitely is not a badger one. What's this? This has got to be red deer. Yeah. Okay, so it's an often red deer feed zone, so definitely not the time for them eating, so I wonder they're not here. Uh, badgers can be tricky because they don't break any sticks, like when they spook. Or, uh, oh, my controller's got the stick drift going on here. Uh, settle down, controller. Um, well, that's a weird little head jarring glitch there. Look at that. Moving. Stop. Moving. Stop. We don't quite, quite got that camera figured out yet uh, for the movement. Uh, let's see now. No badgers here. So I'm not too sure because they don't break any sticks or anything. So the only sound they make is that little growl when you get close, I think. So even if they're like here, I'm not too sure how to really find them. I can't even find uh, the actual zone. It's just every everything that's glowing is a red deer zone. Um, it should be fairly accurate because the toolkit is now using the official markers. However, it does appear that uh, some of them are still off. Like the developers gave the toolkit maybe slightly old data. They're still trying to figure that out. But I don't see feed zone here, so I guess I'll move on to the next one, or sorry, the rest zone. Uh, that's going to be a feed zone there, and the other rest zone's up here. They shouldn't be transitioning to the feed zones yet. Oh! That is a badger for sure. Now I don't have my headphones on, so I can't actually tell a direction. And that little digging sound. It doesn't do any like audio bubbles or anything. Probably should have worn my headphones for this one. Sounds like it's this way. All I can do is kind of spin the cam. Oh, here we go. Okay, so we're definitely. Oh, there he is right there. So here's one. Did I just spook it? I don't think they. Yeah, I don't think they run too far though. Your female spooked. Okay, just calm down, you. Just calm down. You want to uh, find a spot with some elevation so I can see. I'm going to try one of these rocks. And then the point of it is to see if they come to a call. This is not good visibility at all. <laughs> it ran that way. That's not going to work. What happens if I uh, get up on this rock? This might work, right? Spin around, there's the little home. Yeah, okay, I think I'm gonna stay up here. And what call should we try first? I think we should try the original call that just calls in anything. Uh, Cause that's the one that I think is supposed to work. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna start doing that. I have it on number seven, I believe. Yeah, this one, the one we're used to. Uh, so I'm gonna do some calls. I'll do it uh, without the recording on since uh, the calls can kind of hurt the speakers in the ears. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to give a few calls out and see if something comes in. We know they're in the area. And they're, and they're not going to spook more than 250 meters. Alright, so we got a, a male badger calling out, growling 90 meters away. I just noticed the wind. Got a, almost a 13 meter per second crosswind on it. And that's, like, it doesn't get a whole lot faster, like a harder blowing wind in the game. If I was playing ranger mode, I don't even think I'd be out here hunting with a crossbow because it would just make it so difficult. Uh, but we are on the default difficulty, so we got the good old aimbot, hunter sense dot thing here to to guide the bolt. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna keep up the call, and I don't know if he responded to it or uh, it's just a random call. The predator call could be a little little fun to use. Uh, especially in an area with other predators in it. Uh, because you'd be calling here and all of a sudden a bear be walking up behind you or something. I have called over half a dozen times. So we're looking probably seven or eight times. We know they're 90 meters this direction. And no badgers have come to the call. They would have been here by now, I think. 
So, I mean, this can't, this isn't going to be conclusive because, of course, they have it set that some animals just won't respond to the call. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let the call run out and maybe see if they do any kind of alert noise or anything. I'm not too sure if badgers do. Um, but if I don't hear anything, I'm going to switch to the other one, the other caller, and do the low fit call a bunch. Then I'll do the high fit call just to see if I can get any badgers to come in here. Because uh, so far, this does not seem to be bringing them in. Uh, there was a female and a male, and neither of them have come in. Okay, just finishing up my series of calls. So, there they are again. Uh, male and female, Eurasian badger. I don't know if there's only two here, or there's more. But during all these calls, or all these calls, uh, they've remained about 90 meters. The only difference is they moved from over here to here. So this first group, uh, either the call doesn't work or they ignored the call. So we're going to test another one. But first, I'm going to go see if I can spot them. So it's not looking good so far for either of these calls actually working with these badgers. Okay, I hear one again. See, they're just snacking down. Eating, schmucking, schmucking. Uh, all right. So it's real close. That was the female. All right, buddy, make some more noise again. I just kind of want to get eyes on you. Um. If the collars don't work for these guys, these guys are going to be really challenging to hunt. Just finding them is difficult enough, but then you gotta... This mean when you've located what area they're in, you still have to get their exact location without any kind of audio assistance. So headphones look like definitely would help. Now they're not making any noise anymore. Right, uh, they're up here somewhere. I haven't heard them again. I gotta be getting really close. Uh, but maybe I spooked them. I spooked that one I heard there a minute ago. Because uh, if you spook them, you'll never know. Unless you see them. My conclusion is that the uh, badgers spooked. I didn't know it. Um, so that's... These guys, um, I mean, if they're not going to respond to the call, I'm going to try again with a different group. Um, but, like, these Eurasian badgers are going to really up the difficulty of, um, you know, their difficulty rating of species to hunt. Um, because they're so small, it, like, they're small, hard to see. Um, if they don't respond to the callers, then there's that. <laughs> We got some foxes coming in. It's only coming into the gall. Um, they do make noise, but really short range. So you already have to be almost on top of them before they make the before they make a noise, so you know where they are. And if you happen to spook them, like you can't see them in here, you never you haven't seen them yet. You don't actually know if they spooked or not because they don't break any sticks and they don't really make any spooking noises. Um, so that's you know that's that's a pretty difficult species to hunt. Oh, the fox came right in. I didn't even move. He's like right here. Oh, I do not know what fitness or anything you are. Look how little you are. Oh, there he goes. Oh, or not. Alright, well, at least you get a harvest. <laughs> I don't hunt uh, foxes that much either, so... What do we get? Big ol' flesh hit. Right through him. Uh, 58% young fox. There you go. Very exciting. And that was sarcastic, of course. <laughs> a young fox. What a trophy so far. So next target group is almost a kilometer to the west. This is the most northern uh, badger group um, 
from the gutter uh, up into the zone just above it. Uh, so they're all south from this one. Or this one's kind of southwest of this group. So I'll start moving down. This mean I'll probably have time for the one we just did, this one, and maybe one more. And hopefully if I, I can locate three, we'll get some sort of better guess at if uh, these collars actually work or not. And how difficult it is to actually hunt these guys. The badgers did... Uh, I, I imagine if they spooked, and I think they did. Um, they would have spooked in this direction, so I'll, I'll keep my ears open. So maybe I'll run into them again. But yeah, if you, if you think about it, just kind of to repeat myself a little bit there. Um, if these badgers do not um, come into a call, and they don't give any sound off unless you're almost on top of them anyways, I think they will vocalize, but I don't know. I don't think I've heard a badger call any farther out than 100 meters. Like, make, like their noise just doesn't carry. Um, so like, they're really, they'd be really hard to find, because one, you can't really see them. And they're like really close. Two, their sound won't carry more than 100 meters, in my experience. Maybe it does, but I've never heard, you know, a, a, I don't think I've heard a badger call out beyond 200 meters, right? I'm, I'm not actually sure, though, but it seems to me that they, uh, they're, always, they're always close when you hear the sounds. Uh, a lot of the sounds they make don't uh, give you those audio clues, those little bubbles. And yeah, they're not coming to the call, hard to see. Uh, very little noise, and on top of that, uh, when they spook, uh, they don't make any of those stick breaking noises or anything. Um, so yeah, you just don't know if they spook. So that that to me uh, creates a uh, fairly challenging animal to hunt. To the point that um, they're also not really that exciting to hunt, in my opinion. Um, like it seems like. That's a lot of trouble just to hunt a badger. I mean, it, it's di it's challenging enough to find them without, like, even if we had the collar that worked, it's still challenging to find them and hunt them. So if the collars aren't able to bring them in, um, yeah, I might be uh, <laughs> I might be skipping these guys, like just kind of taking them if the opportunity arises, but. Um, I'm not too sure the challenge of these guys is sort of really worth the time and effort. But I'll keep hunting here. We'll try to find this group. It is their feed time. So, uh, the sun will be going down in a couple in-game hours, a few. I should be able to locate these guys. The only other challenge is um, where the feed zones are, it's all steep. Uh, but I'll give it a go here, and hopefully we can find them. So, testing, of course, isn't complete or anything like that. Oh, i got to get across here. Um, but you know, let me know. Let me know. Um, you know, if you've been successful hunting these guys, or hey, did you get the collars to work, or do you even try to hunt these guys? Am I going to be able to get across here? <laughs> get across here. There we go. Um, yeah, and if it's even worth hunting these guys, like why if they're this difficult? Like I'd much rather hunt like red deer and fallow deer, right, and brown bear. Uh, not like these little badgers that are difficult and don't pay anything. I mean, uh, I guess the reason to hunt them is the challenge then. Like, is that they're really difficult? It just seems strange though that a badger is one of the difficult species on the map. I'm at their first zone and it's an often feed zone. So this is the one they should be at. I haven't heard a thing though. That's what I mean. Um, you know what, I don't know what to do, because I've got to locate them first before I can test the collar out. I feel like, like, I already feel like the collars aren't going to work. So if I, uh, I guess I'll, I'll try and get some visibility. I'll do, I'll do a few of the calls, I guess, because this is the area they're supposed to be in. And if nothing, I'll go to their their rarely feed zone over here and see if they're there. But that's their often feed zone, and I didn't hear any growling or shuffling or anything. I mean, they might not even be there, right? Or at either feed zone, they might still be stuck in transition somewhere. 
Oh, no, speak of the devil, there they are. Uh, no sound at all, though. I, okay, I'm sure you're spooked. Good. I'm going to have them visible, though, hopefully. Looks like they just... No, no, there should be four of them, then. This is a good example, though. They're just kind of, like, running around in a nice open field. One, two, three, four. Come on, guys, stop moving. Okay, I'm not that scary. Really? Ooh, a four-star mature. Hey, where are they going? Get back here. Like, they're in such a good spot for the test up here in the open. Oh, okay. Now they're coming back. What is going on? Still says they're spooked. I'm not even moving. They're just circling to attack. Um, I want to see where they stop moving. Are they going to stop? <laughs> I'm just standing here. What's going on? I don't know where they went. Well, this really isn't going to work if they're, they don't stop running. Alright, so... Last I seen them, I was just over there in that opening there. And they were running out this direction. So I came over here and I heard a call from one at 90 meters. So still not heard one over 100. But one grumbled in this direction at 90 meters and I moved forward. So my guess is they're about 70 meters away now in that direction. Wind is good and everything, so I'm going to switch back uh, and start doing the calls. I'm basically going to do all the calls just to see if, and like, I just want to know if any of them work. So I'm just going to, I don't care which one, <laughs> I just want to, I just want to see if any of them work here. Okay, I got one at 50 meters. I don't think it's coming to the call, though. I think it just called out. So we got a distance here. A male at 50 meters. Female badger at 70 meters. Um, I've done several calls now. So I am doing them all. I'll just show you kind of what I'm doing. So it's going to be noisy for a second. So just a normal predator call. And then it has been... Confirmed just by testing that you can run a lot of these at the same time if they got their own bar. I've called in multiple things at the same time. So here's the low one. Hang on. So I'm basically just doing everything like I eventually did. The first test I was doing them one at a time. Like did a bunch of just like the one call, let it expire, do a bunch of another one. Um, this time I'm kind of speeding up the process. Because this should still work. Uh, but, yeah, so far I've done a bunch of these. And no bites on the calls here. So it's looking. That's going to be at least at least half a dozen calls. When they're less than 100 meters away, wind is good. Four of them. Uh, one is definitely high fit. Uh, none of these calls worked, though. So that's test number two. Uh, none of them came in. So I'm still going to hunt one of them. Now, I'm not actually hunting the males. I want to see how difficult it is since it looks like we cannot use the collars. Um, can I get close to these guys? Like, uh, this is what bugs me. I, I can go this slow. And I should. I probably will. Uh, if they don't make a sound, though, and you don't have headphones on, I mean, you need the sound of the growling. The spotting is going to be really difficult. But here's the thing. I'm going to be sneaking in. If I don't see them and I spook them, <laughs> I'm never going to know. I'll be hanging around here forever looking for them and they'll be long gone. But I guess uh, they don't spook very far anyways, right? Now I've got the digging sound. So my advice here is if you're going to hunt these guys, put a, put a pair of headphones on. 
think it came from this direction. Yes. Like this direction here. I think it's one of the males on. I don't really want the high fit males. I want to leave them because like culling these badgers would be a real pain. So I'm gonna, if they're high fit, I'm leaving them. I'm going to check on the four star in a day or two. I know they don't stay mature very long. So you don't have much of a window to try and get a five star. I'll have to remember to come back and check this guy out. Oh. So there's a male real close. They haven't spooked then. So. You know what? I can't tell. <laughs> I can't. I need headphones for it. It sounds like it's in every direction. So you can spin around when they're doing it if you just have speakers. And you can sort of tell from left to right. And it's, I think it's that guy that kind of growled, but there's four of them, right? So... Man, that's hard. It's definitely this direction, though. Where he called. They're kind of spread out now after their spook. Yeah, I want one of the... I just, just want to see if you can actually find them. But yeah, if I'm doing this, I'm bringing my headphones on. Because <laughs> you gotta, you got to be able to pinpoint... So there's a call, right? Like one of the growls. So I guess I'll go to that, because I just know it's 50 meters. Um, so I guess if you don't have headphones, you can do this, right? Uh, so here. And then I can sort of mark here. Oh, whoa, that's way too far away. What's going on there? Here? 37, okay. So I know it's about 10 meters beyond that one mark. And we'll see if we can get this female here. Okay, one sounds like it's really close, though. Because if I spook one of them, they're all going to run. Like that noise got... It's got to be right here. I don't know about you, but this is a lot of effort for bad. Yep, there he is. Are you running away? Oh, he's a four star. Come on, grow up and be five, like right now. Then, then I get my five star badger and not have to hunt them again. <laughs> All right, I want to sneak by him. Okay, so that proves my point, though. Well, not proves my point, but uh, answers my question. I was able to sneak up to him pretty close there. You can hear him kind of eating away and just using speakers. I do like the sounds of them munching down. It's kind of funny. So I'm going to check back on him. So I want to see if I can actually harvest one. Oh, there's the other male. He's going to be the two-star mature. He's right here, too. So they're like all next to each other. And as long as you can hear him digging, you know they haven't spooked. So there's definitely a method here to hunting them. Oh, there they go. There he goes. Are the other ones running? They must have. One runs the rest of them well. I just don't really see any darting around. As you can... Oh, yep. They're running. I guess you'd bring the shotgun. <laughs> it's, uh... I guess what I would do. Headphones and a shotgun. That could be fun. Uh, I can see that. I can see that being okay. Like, it would be hard to call them, though, right? You'd be more like hunting them like ducks. I'm just kind of flushing them out and shooting them as they run out. That could be fun. Um, so that's, that's one idea. Well, I'm going to let them be. Uh, since the only target's a female badger, and it's only going to be worth, what, 14, 15 bucks? Um, it's not really worth the hunt, right? Uh, basically, yeah, like, you don't hunt them for money, so 
Um, it's just not not worth just hunting a female with a crossbow. So that's what I mean. I think at this point, if the collars don't work, I think I'd bring a shotgun. And when I stir them up like that, I think that's probably the most fun way to hunt them. So I'm going to try uh, one more group. Uh, just do the three trial I want. Because, I mean, if we're three for three with no collars working, I think that's probably safe to say that the, the collars are useless um, in calling them. So in that case, then I, I will bring it up in Discord and just see. Because I do, I do, I believe I recollect that they said it was just like a typo. Like they didn't put it in the description. Uh, but what are the, if the callers do work, what are the chances that three groups don't respond to either one of those? So it's not really going to be a harvest uh, heavy hunt here. I was actually half expecting that when I was doing those calls that I would bring in a bear or something like that. I know I brought in a fox, which is okay. Uh, but I was, there's bears all around here too, so I was kind of hoping that, I would, that uh, I would call in like a bear by accident or so. Because that would have been fun. Maybe it'll still happen, but the sun's kind of going down. I am tempted to do a shotgun hunt on these badgers, though. Um, I do enjoy after they fix well after they fix the shotguns. I do enjoy kind of hunting with those shotguns. Um, I got to try the uh, the other gauges. Um, I don't even know what's in the game. There's a 16 and a and a 20, right? I believe so. Is there an 18? I think it's a 16 and 20. I haven't tried those ones yet. Uh, to see the 12 gauge seems to work fairly well oh we might have to hold up red deer wind's going right at him too so this is going to be this is going to be rough all right i do want to take a glance at these because i wouldn't mind harvesting something decent i'm gonna have to set perfect i don't hmm. man wind's going right at him yeah they're there they're going to start walking away from me. I don't think I'm going to be able to turn them if the wind's going at them. Hmm. I'm going to try and make my way up here just to get a little closer. After they calm down, I think they have, but they're going to they're going to be walking away from the wind. Um now I'm going to I'm going to try a low fit call. See if we can get one in before the sun goes down and I can still get over to those badgers. You know what, this is close enough. I got got enough visibility here. Uh, right, let's see if we can get a low one to come out. Oh, no, that's a good sign right there. 150 out, wind going at him. Um, all I got is crossbow, right? It's the apex, so that's good. He, he should be able to come in from the call close enough to get a crossbow shot off. Even with the wind blowing at him. There's... For some reason in this game, they've made it so their senses like go really dull, as long as you don't move. Um, they'll come in even if the scent's going right at them, but only to a certain point, right? But we're about to find out this. Do another call. <coughs> See if he calls back. Yeah, okay, we definitely got some low-fit red deer here. All right, a couple of them are trotting in the back. Oh, there we go. Here we go. All right, let's bring him in. Okay, so I just gave another call out. I don't know. He might be stopping because of the smell. No, he's still far out. What's this distance here? 30 meters? Let's prep the crossbow. Just to get the... Uh, we're going to zero for 30. Just to have that all set. And I'll probably do try and do one of those turn shots where you let the call... Oh, there's another one. This is a low-fit herd here if I got multiple coming in here. Okay, I don't want the call to expire yet. But I want to do one of those shots where you let the call expire and they start to turn. He's got to be getting pretty close, though. Unless he stopped because of the scent. Where'd he go? He should be right up here. There'll be times when I get completely surprised, like, oh, there's one right there, like, right next to you. Oh, here he comes, here he comes, okay, perfect. This is, that's a good distance for a shot, but I want to wait. 
I want to wait for... Other, oh, I'm not sure I'm going to get time, though. Okay, he might run. He's definitely smelling meat. I should probably do the shot, but if the call's going to run out, he's going to turn here in a second. Get ready. I think he's... He knows something's up. Here's the turn. There. Good. Gotta like crossbow hunting. I do like it. He's up there. Hanging around. I didn't see... I've seen him through there, but I didn't see any more of him there. Um, let's just check the blood real quick. And then I'll give him some time if it's a good hit to, to bleed out. Oh, I'm not sure. Oh, is it? Yeah, okay, pink. It kind of looked dark red there for a second. Uh, good. Yay, okay, red deer. So at least we got, uh, got some meat for the freezer anyways. Um, this hunt. And then, I'll, then we'll go off to those badgers, uh, which is still 300 meters that way. Looks like he didn't actually make it too far at all. I gave him a little bit of time. And he's just right up here. Uh, so I don't know how the crossbow does with the uh, with the red deer. I don't, uh, you know, haven't really been back to Transylvania with the crossbow. Looks like it's buried in deep there. That's probably double lung, right? Uh, I'm not sure it's got the damage for both lung though. No, it's only one lung. Look at that. Oh, and it almost. Oh wow. This is. Uh, the crossbow is kind of rough sometimes. Like, it did the job for sure, but it, like, it didn't even hit any bone. It started the flesh here, which you, you can't really see the flesh on it, but the texture does come out this far. I mean, it took a long time. Like, 60% of its energy was lost before it got to the lung. So it just didn't dig in very far at all. Uh, enough, though, so that definitely works. Um, yeah, what do we got? 46%, that's fine. 547. What's the meat loss like? Barely anything good, so you pretty much get full price uh, hunting crossbow with these guys. 293 score. Just kind of your average red deer. So hopefully we can get a one more trial run on another group of badgers. I'm almost there. Okay, I just picked up one of their zones. This is their often eating zone. Uh, so they should be here. And there's the digging noise. So they are here. I, just a second ago when I was talking there, I didn't actually pick up on the, the little digging noise. So they're definitely here. And, um, yeah, I'm going to back up a little bit. Maybe get on this rock. And we'll try the calls, because I know the, the direction. All right. I'll keep digging for a second. Come on, buddy. Yep. Okay, yeah, you can turn your head around. So he's definitely in that direction there. I'm going to get up on one of these rocks. And uh, we'll do test number three. Uh, finding them hasn't been... Oh, I can't get up on the rock. Um, can I? Nope. <laughs> nope. Just impossible to, to climb a rock, I guess. Maybe this rock? Oh, there we go. Okay. Hopefully I didn't make them run. Um, <laughs> doing that. Oh, yeah, of course, digging stop. Well, I'm going to sit here for a little bit, because it's going to be my last stop here. And, oh, yep, yeah, I did make them spook. Darn it. Okay, no problem, though. They won't run that far. I'll give them some time to settle down. I know the direction they ran. Oh, no, now they come back. <laughs> What do we got? Oh, just a young guy. And, uh, I'll let them settle down. Looks like he by himself? He's the only one I've seen. Seemed like he was a bit behind me or something. Oh, I'll give him some time to calm down. I don't hold much hopes in, uh, and the collar's working here. But I'll sit here for a little bit. 
uh, and just do a whole bunch of calls and see if one comes in at all. Okay, so same similar thing as before. There is a male at 70 meters. Calm down. So there's going to be multiple around there, or it's just him. I'm not too sure how many. It's usually a group, so I'm assuming there's more with them. Uh, but just showing 70 meters, I'm just going to do all the calls and just keep at it for a bit. All right, I've had a male call 50 meters, female 50, and another male about 50 meters this direction. So they're kind of like this here. Um, I've done, again, about a half dozen calls, each one, no response. So, um, like normal, um, I just kind of record and show, show the stuff. And you can sort of make up your own mind if you think this is working or not, or try it in your own game. In my mind, these callers do not call the Eurasian uh, Badger. Uh, so the, how they have it entered in the encyclopedia is exactly how it is in game. Somewhere along the line, they decided that the American Badger wants to come around and eat these bunny rabbit call or from the call, like wanna, wants to hunt down a bunny rabbit. Uh, but the Eurasian Badger does not, so I'm not too sure what the logic is on that one. you think all Badgers would would want to uh, come out for a distressed rabbit or something like that. Um, but yeah, it does not appear to work. And I'm kind of sad that no, out of all this calling, no bear ever showed up. I never came close enough to one to get in caller range, I guess. Well, I wonder if I can actually hunt one or not. There's, you know, 50 meters this way and that way. Uh, this was a male, though, and... I mean, I don't want to hunt the young one, right? There's just no point. Um, but I haven't seen the other male, so I am. I want to see him. And I think it's I think it's the one this way I haven't seen. Uh, so, he should be over here somewhere, not too, too far. See if I can hear some digging over here. All right, well, I might be ending the hunt here then. Uh, I'm not getting any growls anymore, so I might have spooked them. And that's the thing, you just don't know if they spook or not. Um, I didn't do much. I was just kind of doing normal crouch. And you can usually get pretty close into them. But the growls all stopped, and I went to the location of the one call. No noises, and this is about where the female was, so maybe they moved on. But no, they, sh they should be hanging around here much longer. Like a considerable bit more longer. It looks like they're gone now, so a badger hunt with no badgers. Well, harvested anyways. Uh, but regardless, um, I'm still kind of happy with the hunt, uh, because I set a plan. And then I actually accomplished the plan, which wasn't necessarily to harvest them, but to find three different groups and test those callers out. Uh, so in my mind, I now know uh, not to uh, not to waste my time with the callers, uh, trying to bring them in. And I probably won't even hunt them at all. Like I, I really haven't, so it's not really a big change. Um, but I do want to hunt everything in the game, so I'm trying to think of how I would do it. But I think I think that's how I would do it, right? I think I'd bring this shotgun. And, uh, you know, if you spook them before getting, or seeing them, you'll see them when they run. Just do a couple, couple blasts away with that. Uh, yeah, so I, I have no idea where they went. I must have spooked them, and who knows. Who knows, that, that is, a, in my mind, that's a, that's a challenging species. So, yeah, so hopefully this has been uh, helpful. And, uh, yeah, uh, let me know what you think. Thank you very much for watching the video, everybody, and take care.